So here's a bit of a strange element for you. It's the meter HTML element that you can actually use to display uh, something, a value that's in a certain range uh, to the user. So let's take a look at how it looks and then I'll show you a more of a concrete example of how you might actually use this on your pages. So uh, it's the HTML element is just meter. Uh, and if you add that to your page, you see you get this, it looks like a progress bar type element, uh, but it isn't really designed for showing progress. So we can apply a value to this uh, just by saying value is equal to uh, 100, for example. And by default, this will actually just give you a green bar no matter what value you type in there. And the reason for this is there is a min and max range which is set at zero and one by default. Uh, so if you give it a fractional number, uh, then obviously you'll get uh, half of the actual meter element displaying. So uh, we can adjust those min and max values ourselves. So for example, if we wanted to change it to zero to uh, 100, for example, we can just do that here. And you can see only a tiny fraction now is displaying. Uh, but if we change that to 30, for example, you'll see that roughly a third of the bar is actually colored in. So as mentioned, this isn't really designed to display progress. There is a progress element that you can use for that. Uh, so here's an example of what you might use it for. Perhaps you're displaying some information to the user, uh, such as disk space that's being used somewhere, uh, and you want to display that in this kind of meter element here. So what we could do is uh, if we just create a span here saying uh, disk space, and we can then provide some values to the meter element via its attributes to uh, configure how the disk space uh, meter actually looks. So we've already got a min and max, but let's say this is a hard disk, for example. So we could say the min is zero gigabytes and uh, the max is 256. We can also define some additional properties such as the low and high uh, values of where the meter should be. So we can actually define how the uh, meter should look depending on what value is applied to it. So if we say the low value is 32, so when our disk is uh, under 32 gigabytes of space remaining, then it's uh, considered to be low disk space. And the same sort of thing for high, we can say we've got a high amount of disk space when we've got over 128 gigabytes. We can also provide an optimum value as well. So when is the disk space at its optimum level? Well, probably when it's totally empty. So we could say it's, that's 256 as well. And now when we save the element, you can see the meter uh, element's color has changed to a sort of orangey red color. And that is because the value that we've applied to it, which is 30, is actually below the low value that we've provided as an attribute. So any number that we provide to the value that's below the low value in this case uh, will give us that sort of warning orange red color. But if we go over the actual low uh, threshold, if we say 33, for example, the bar in the meter element changes to a kind of orangey amber, I guess you could say warning type of state. And of course, if we go all the way up to uh, the high value with 128, uh, which is what we specified here, then the bar in the meter element turns to green again, indicating we're above or equal to the high bound that we set in its property. So it's probably worth saying as well, when you do use the meter element as well, you should provide a value inside of it as well. So we could say 128 gigabytes inside of there. It won't actually display on the page, but for completeness, we should put the value that we want to display for accessibility reasons inside of the actual meter tag itself. So browser support is relatively good apart from uh, the usual suspects such as Internet Explorer. Uh, I think also in earlier versions of Edge as well, it wasn't supported. But other than that, it should be a useful tool if you want to display uh, values that are in, so in a certain range uh, and also want to style them based on the low and high bounds uh, that that range falls in. So that's it for the meter HTML element. Stay tuned for more web dev tips.